I hope this doesn't happen too often. And you'll understand why when I say, I don't know the answer to this question. And the question is, what are we going to do about AI, artificial intelligence? Already, Jeffrey Hinton, the father of AI, has quit Google. And he wants me to criticize AI and the users of it. Because he said, pretty soon, we may not know what the truth is. And that's scary. Already, people are saying that in an election, you could have some sort of movie up there with the president or the prime minister. It could be out there for two or three hours, having thousands of people believe it before it's exposed as false. We won't know what the truth is. If we don't know what the truth is, we're going to destroy the society. That's what built up over thousands of years. People who know history know the truth. People who work every day know the truth. AI may not be the truth. So what's the advantage of it? Well, already law journals have ads out there. Get this product. You will be able to draft contracts 10 times faster than you do it now. So we're going to have more lawyers drafting more contracts, making more regulations, tying up society, making bigger mess of it than most of them do right now. More regulation, less freedom. So we have a problem. And I don't know the answer to it. You can regulate it. Yeah. Who's going to regulate the regulators? The presidents of AI companies are already going around saying, we are going to be responsible. You can't trust them to be responsible. Or their successors. That's simply not going to happen. You can say, we're just going to get rid of AI. But you can't put the toothpaste back into the tube. It doesn't work that way. So then the other thing is, just let it go rampant. But then we have the problem, as the founder of it said, we won't know what is the truth. And whether you're reading or listening or watching, and it looks real, it looks like, yep, yeah, that looks like Stephen LeDrew, and he is saying this, and so I'm going to believe it. But it makes no sense, or it's exactly the opposite of the truth. Some people are out there going to say, well, that's it, until it's exposed as a lie. So that's the problem with AI. It's not as though, you know, like 60 years ago when people said, watch too much TV and you're going to lose your head. Well, that didn't happen. But we do know that overuse of cell phones does dismantle some judgment in people's minds. So this is going to the nth degree. AI is a serious problem and it impacts everybody. So, as I said at the outset, I don't know the answer. But stay tuned, we're going to have some people on this station who can talk about it so you'll be more informed. And thank you. Justin Trudeau is now on the record as saying that social media is destabilizing. And he wants to bring in censorship to determine what can be put on and not on social media. That is wrong. Please support this station. And please add your address so I can write you a letter and thank you for supporting freedom of speech.